Hello, so today we're going to be doing male catheterisation. So I've pre-prepared my sterile fields, we've got everything that we need. I'll talk, talk through everything in more detail as we go along. Um, in terms of patient position, ask the patient to lie on their backs and expose themselves. Um, you can also ask the patient to retract their own foreskin if they're able to do so. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands with alcohol gel to start with and then I'm going to put on my first pair of sterile gloves. So we're going to use a piece of gauze to act like a sling around the penis to hold it up. And then with my other hand I'm going to use cotton wool balls dipped in to normal saline to clean in circular motions starting around the urethra and then discarding after each use. So again just in circular motions and then place them to the bin. And then we can get rid of this piece of gauze and these first set of gloves. I'll just put, put my empty wrapper in the bin as well. Okay. So I'll just wash my hands again and then put my second pair of sterile gloves on. And then we have a drape, which I've already torn a hole, a circular hole in before we started, but you do that at this point now. And then place this with the penis through the hole. And then we're going to make another sling with our gauze. Get our catheter ready. So the next thing that we need to do is put some instilla gel into the urethra. So I'm going to squeeze a small amount out onto the sterile field to begin with that we'll use to dip the tip of the catheter in. And then using our sling, just put that around the penis to hold it up. I'm going to insert some the instilla gel into the urethra. Okay. And then we can just discard discard that syringe. So holding the penis in an extended position for a few minutes to allow that instilla gel to work, we'll then open our catheter. Place it in the kidney dish nearer to the patient and dip it in our instilla gel. So then we're going to insert it into the penis should pass relatively smoothly. You want to extend it right up until the bifurcation, if possible. Okay, then we'll remove this plastic. So at this point, urine should be coming out. If it isn't, it may just mean the patient needs to be repositioned. But we can place the bag onto the end of the catheter then using our other syringe of water, just inflate the balloon on this port. Okay. 
and then just withdraw until we have some resistance. You can move all of these things out of the way and remove the drape. And then you'd also make sure to re replace the foreskin as well at this point. Um, just a note on the catheter size, so I've inserted a 12 French. We would normally use a 14 or 16 for a male. And then we can recover the patient, clean up our area, and then we'd want to record the residual volume in the catheter bag as well.